Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp. And we're going to learn about how the order of the if else statements matter. So when we rerun the function with the if else, it runs from top to bottom, and we have to be careful of what the order of each condition. So we can take an example here because we look at this condition if x is less than one. And if it is, we return the statement less than one and we exit out of the loop. And then we look at the other situation where they basically switch these two and we will return less than two and then, and then less than one. So if we had the input of zero for the first example, it will hit here first and it's less than one. So it returns less than one. And the second example, it will hit here first. So we return less than two. So for this example, it wants us to change the order of logic in the function so that it will return the correct statement in all cases. So here, the first condition, if it's less than 10, we return less than 10. Now we have another condition where as an else if val is less than five, we return less than five. So we will want the less than five to go first because if we had a, a one as input, it'll return less than five because it's more accurate than is less than 10. So we can just do switch these less than five, less than five, less than 10, less than 10. And that should be all for this one. Thank you so much.